Michael, the open training session today with the, the fans must be good to, to give back a little bit to the supporters. Yeah, obviously it's um, it's a big day for, for all the boys to come out here and show what they can do and uh, also for the fans to come out and we can um, have some close encounters with them. It's it's always good. I think it's a, it's a good initiative and it's something we do every year. So, yeah, I know it's some, something that the fans can really look forward to. Um, and obviously your second season now at the club, but um, building those links and those ties with supporters, is that something you think is really important to, to this club? Yeah, um, I think it is for all clubs, um, but I know here that uh, everybody, um, I've been around it for, for the first year and now the second year running, everybody that's something they're aware of um, and we need to uh, have a good relationship and you see when they when they turn up at the stadium it's a massive support for us and, and we, um, yeah, we really enjoy it playing in front of a big crowd. Do you ever get used to this warm weather? Uh, I think we. this is the first week now where, when it's been this hot, so we need to get used to it now. Um, last week when we played against Newcastle it was really, really tough. Um, so yeah, we need to get used to it, but it's not easy. How so will they change the training schedule? Because it's going to be 42, 44 Friday, what, what will happen? We'll have week? some earlier starts, um, and that's what you can do, you can't really do anything else. Um, but yeah, it's getting through it at the moment. It, it, it's going to be very warm, but it's, it's the same for other, other teams around the league. Um, but yeah, when you get into a rhythm and you get used to it, you get extra breaks at the game. So it's, it's, it's okay to get through it, but it, it is quite, quite hard. How beneficial do you think it was having, the, having another weekend off, having this bike, considering you've already had the international break, you've only played eight games. I know you had the FFA Cup, but having all these breaks in between, how's it, does it ruin momentum? Uh, I think it's good and bad when you have momentum. It's, it can be an interruption sometimes, but it's it's very important to have fresh legs going into to games as well. Um, and we we had the opportunity to do a, a team activity. Um, so yeah, we get the group together and we yeah we we build on it and, and get stronger hopefully. Can you talk us through the team activity? Nope. Fair enough. <laughs> had, had to ask at least. Uh, Riley and Christy, can you sort of give a bit of a brief on both of them? They're both trained away from the group today. Oh. Oh, Sorry. Right. <laughs> are these flies? That's all right. That's all right. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're, they're taking it along. They are, they're doing okay. Um, I don't know how far along in the, in the rehab they are, but um, hopefully we'll get them back in soon. Would it be a big boost having Riley back this weekend? Oh, it's always a big boost when you have injured players coming back in. Um, and the more fit players we have, the stronger the squad is. So we want them back as quick as possible. Um, but I know that they don't want to take any risks so, so they get further damage. So, so yeah, we, it takes time, but hopefully they're back sooner rather than later. Do you feel like you know everything about the Mariners? You've played them in the FFA Cup, you played them already early, it's another game again? Yeah, no, but all the teams, they improve, they start to do different stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the, the team around the, the, the staff about around the team, they are, um, they're doing the research and they are going to fill us in with what they've done different in the last games compared to the first games we played against them so we'll be well prepared. We're coming up to obviously uh, January a time when the transfer window opens again. Um, looking at the, the depth of the squad do you, do you think you guys maybe need to bring in one or two players to add to that depth? Uh, I think that's a question for Bruce isn't it? It's, uh, I th I'm happy with the, with the squad we have now. It's, um, yeah, we're doing well and uh, we're winning games, so I'm really happy. And I think there is a good depth as well when when everybody's fit. So, yeah, a strong side. Um, but yeah, I think Bruce is the right man to ask that question. And we've obviously seen the emergence of a lot of young players coming through this season. I suppose when you've got a few injuries like this, it gives opportunities for young guys to come in, and they've, they've impressed so far, haven't they? Yeah, they've they've taken the chances, and that's what it is when you're when you're a young kid. Uh, you might only get a couple of chances, and then you need to. To grab them and, and stick, uh, stick with them, and then yeah, you see, you see Louis, uh, Louis this year. They've uh, they've done uh, amazing, um, and they've really grabbed the chance. So it's yeah, for them it's it's good to show um, that it's possible. Also for other young players coming through, um, that it's it's just about keep training hard. I know Louis has been around the team for, for a couple of years now, and um, got the chance now, and you've you've grabbed it. Tua came in this year and, and have done amazing. So it's not impossible to get through. Just with Riley, do you think uh, they'll pick him this week or give him another week off? Um? I'm, not, I'm not in the in that sector to, to say they're going to take the chance or not. Um, I know that he's doing everything he can to come back as quick as possible, but um, if it's going to be this week or next week, I don't know. And we're, I think, almost a third of the way through the season, obviously under Gurchan in his first season here. 
things result-wise look like they're going pretty well, but how do you feel the progress has been so far and how much progress do you feel is still to come? You're standing right behind me and I can't see anything. <laughs> no, I think uh, we're learning every week. Um, we're training a lot on, on how we, uh, we are supposed to play. Um, and yeah, it's getting better. As you said, we've got good results. Um, we've had some games where we've performed well and we've had some where we've performed a bit under average. Um, Last week, for example, we, we got the win, uh, even though we did, didn't play well. Um, then we had two games in the start of the season where we didn't get us what we deserved. Um, so it's still a learning process. Um, there's still things we can work on and, and, and do better. So it's, yeah, every day we, we try to improve.